Is there such a thing as a soulmate? Well, no, not really. I, I know that really goes against our thinking today. We have such an over-romanticized concept of marriage that there's that special, super perfect person out there. And if I can just find that super perfect person, I'll be happy. And everybody's running around trying to find you know, that, that one person. And, and you, you see it in all the movies, particularly the chick flicks, the romantic flicks. Uh, it makes for a great movie watching two people try and find each other. But the truth is, it's, it's, it's not based in reality. There is no special one person uh, that's going to make you happy. Um, and the church doesn't really help out much better either because we come along and then we spiritualize the same nonsense by saying God created a special person just for you. You need to find just that right person that God created for you. I mean, how insane is that? First of all, the Bible never says anything like that. And secondly, is this not the epitome of selfishness? Think what we're saying. God in heaven created another human being just to make you happy. I mean, if that is not the epitome of selfishness, I don't know what is. God didn't make someone else just for you. That's ludicrous. What is the key to a successful relationship? It's not about finding the right person. A successful relationship is based on two people doing the right things. And if you'll do the right things, you'll succeed. It's that simple. If you don't, you'll fail. And that's just equally as simple. The reason why people are struggling so hard today is not because they haven't found the right person. It's because they're doing all the wrong things. So I think the whole emphasis of trying to find that special cosmic person is a big mistake. That's not to say that single people shouldn't be thoughtful in the process. You want to find a good person. I mean, don't marry an idiot. People do that all the time, particularly women who think, well, I can change him. You know, don't think like that. If it acts like a skunk, it walks like a skunk, and it smells like a skunk, it's a skunk. Move on. You know, don't marry obvious people that are nothing but problems in your life. So be as thoughtful as you can, but don't, don't get caught up in this idea of it has to be that one special person today. It's just not good thinking. It's certainly not uh, biblically sound, and it doesn't even make common sense. Uh, find a good person. If you'll do the right things, virtually any two people in the world can succeed. That's the power of, of principles like love and patience and long-suffering, which means to suffer a long time, of forgiveness. All that stuff, those principles are so powerful that they'll work in virtually any relationship if people will implement them. But they, they're not doing it today. They're, they're ignoring these principles, hoping that it should just be automatic and easy if I find the right person. So they're out there chasing, trying to find the right person, thinking that, you know, I've finally found the right one, and then they get married, and then they're miserable. Then they'll come to someone like me and say, Pastor, I made a mistake. I said, no, you're, you're making a mistake. If you're thinking that way, it's not, it's not about that.